OHI and welcome to this month's episode of GBTV. We have some great stories for you today. First, Spencer Cross and Joe Chapman bring us a story on the Georgia film industry. Then Kate Whitley shines a spotlight on Coach Taylor Nolan and her volleyball career, from high school standout to coach of a championship team. Finally, Meg Patterson and our very own GBTV news team seek out holiday hotspots around Atlanta to visit this break. And, and it, it all, all starts, starts now. now. <laughs> Welcome to GBTV. I'm Santa Claus. And I'm Gibby the Elf. First, Joe Chapman and Spencer Cross bring us a report on the booming film industry in Georgia and in the Atlanta area. Recently, there has been a surge of movie productions in Georgia. With various movies such as the Hunger Games trilogy, Anchorman 2, and Fast Five, more and more directors are moving to Georgia for their productions. With all these productions coming here, Atlanta is becoming the Hollywood of the South. Spencer and I decided to figure out why a larger number of directors are using Georgia for their productions. We have a very generous tax incentive package. It's very aggressive. Um, we give uh, production companies between 20 and 30 percent of what they spend in Georgia on qualified expenses, which is most everything. People, um, when I say people, I'm talking about uh, crews from out of town, producers, actors, they all like Atlanta. They enjoy coming to Atlanta. Atlanta has a lot to offer. Uh, there's great restaurants, there's things for their families to do. Uh, you know, we're a very international city, so we offer a lot. We're very green, which is very different than the West Coast. It's very easy to fly in and out of Atlanta, I and mean, people really enjoy it here. They enjoy the culture here. Uh, everybody's very pleasant. Um, you know, southern hospitality. Um, we've got more infrastructure to support. Uh, the crews here are incredible. We've always had A-list crews here, but they're even more recognized now. We have those type of people here and that caliber of people here. And we've even had in the recent years with the boom, more people moving here. So there's a, a large crew base, which is very attractive to producers. Um, but if you're gonna be in a place for a while doing a whole TV series or doing four months on a movie, I think Atlanta has much more to offer. When that tax incentive went into effect in 2008, we really saw our production activity escalate, and it goes up every year. So there's a history of, of people coming back to Atlanta, So that, and I think that says a lot when they come here once. If they're coming back, that, that said that they had a great experience here, and so they're wanting to do it again and wanting to work with the people here. We also talked with Holy Innocent senior Jack Hackett, who's worked on a few sets, including Fast 7, about his experience with film productions in Georgia. One of the electrics called me and said, hey, I'm the director of photography on this movie. Do you want to come be an electric? I said, of course I would. I learn something new every single time, no matter how long I work, even if it's 12 hours, eight hours, I'm still learning something every minute, every hour. It's just incredible, because you're working with the best of the best. It, the film program has let me explore a lot of things and try out different things. I'll go on set and I'll learn some things, but I don't really get to touch it or mess around with it because I just say set it up and do it, and it works. So I come back to school and I, they give me the freedom to recreate it and mess around with the new things I've learned. For Spencer Cross, this is Joe Chapman signing off from GBTV. Now back to the studio. Well, on my vacation from the North Pole, I get the opportunity to learn about Coach Taylor Nolan's past volleyball experience and how she led the varsity to victory. Volleyball was my only sport. 
pretty much growing up. I started in the fifth grade. I had a PE teacher whose daughter played volleyball at Georgia Tech, and she really encouraged me to get into it, and I loved it from the beginning. I started as a middle, and my junior year I transitioned to the outside. Uh, my favorite memories from playing at Woodward were, I guess, winning all three state championships and playing in four. It was really exciting, and uh, we kind of started a legacy there. We pushed ourselves in the off season, got in really good shape, came in and had a lot of running tests that had to be met. Um, we changed our offense a little bit, and Sarah Porter was key in learning and helping me strategize it, and we really s worked hard on our serves and serve receive. We'll look to compete against a lot of the same teams, and it all comes down to who's ready to play in the playoffs. It was much better and more gratifying to win as a coach because I wasn't the one out on the court playing and I felt like I've helped raise these girls. It was probably one of the top highlights of my life. Match point and it's Graham. She'll put it away for her 17th kill and Woodward is state champs again. and to do it two years in a row, it's just, it's everything we've ever asked for. We've been working since July, and it's just so much for me to handle right now. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> to have all our fans and our friends here, it's just amazing. On behalf of GBTV, congratulations to Coach Taylor Noland and the 2013 Volleyball State Champions. Finally, the entire GBTV broadcast team went out in search of the best places in Atlanta to visit this holiday season. Here's what they found. With all the hustle and bustle of the holiday season, it's often hard to find time to see all the sights and sounds of Atlanta, one of which is the annual ice skating rink at Centennial Olympic Park. Located in the heart of Centennial Olympic Park, this activity is fun and festive for the holiday season. Just $10 will get you 90 minutes of ice skating, including skate rental. Whether you're a veteran, or a newbie skater, you'll still have a ton of fun on the ice. After some fun on the ice, be sure to stop by Cafe Intermezzo to warm up with some hot chocolate. Let's go to Amanda Gibson for more on the story. I'm here at Cafe Intermezzo, a European coffee house here in Atlanta. Since 1979, this cafe has been serving a wide variety of drinks and pastries. Come in this winter and grab a tasty bite to eat with their exotic treats. Look at the 50-page beverage book ranging from delicious hot chocolates to cocktails and adult beverages. Also choose from over 70 pastries on display and a long menu of entrees. This cafe is something you won't want to miss it out on, so stop by this holiday season. For GBTV, I'm Amanda Gibson signing off. Grab a hot chocolate and afterwards head on down to the Botanical Gardens to see the Christmas lights. Let's throw it to Kate Whitley to see more on this seasonal tradition. Over two years ago, Atlanta's own Botanical Gardens created the Garden Lights Holiday Nights Spectacular. With over one million LED lights, this winter wonderland is one you won't forget. For just $20 each, you and your family can create your own holiday tradition by visiting this unforgettable Garden Light Show. While you're there, remember to stop by the Orchestral Orbs, a light show specifically choreographed to holiday music. But don't forget to bundle up and stay warm. Lastly, don't forget to check out the fantastic butterflies and dragonflies at flight. Make sure you save time to visit this amazing light show. I'm Kate Whitley signing off for GBTV. Now back to you, Meg. Another place to see beautiful Christmas lights is Global Wonderland at Turner Field. Field reporter Haven Boaz has more on this topic. Looking for something to light up your night this holiday season? I'm field reporter Haven Boaz here at the one and only Global Wonderland, making its first appearance here at Turner Field in Atlanta, Georgia. Located in the Turner Field parking lot, there are over 70 giant illuminated lanterns. Definitely not your traditional Christmas lights. Global Wonderland also features the number third rated circus in America the Universe Soul Circus. This show is filled with thrilling performances that will take your breath away. Wanting to travel the world without breaking the bank? The Global Village is just the place for you. There you can see international monuments like Big Ben, 
Chichen Itza, Sydney Opera House, the Eiffel Tower, Taj Mahal, Temple of Heaven, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It also exhibits monuments found right here in the U.S., like Mount Rushmore, the Martin Luther King Memorial, and our very own White House. All of this, and Global Winter Wonderland, has its very own carnival filled with rides and games. Not to forget, it has live performances that change every day. So come out soon, because it will only be here until January 5th. I'm Haven Boaz, signing off. Well, that's all for this month's episode. Merry Christmas from all of us here at GBTV. I'm Gibby the Elf. And I'm Santa Claus. And remember, keep, keep growling, growling bears. bears. <laughs> 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 Like the ones I used to know yeah. Where those streets are Listen And children listen To hear Sleigh bells in the snow The snow Till then I, I, I am dreaming Oh, why Christmas Christmas card.